I know that at least most of you remember this set from 2017. You know, the one from Ninjago that looks like it's built on water. It's got an elevator. The nice little bridge at the bottom. And the sushi on the roof. Well, today, I'd like to show you the extension that I had built. Yes, I know, I'm three years late, but... Once the set came out, I had started to build it with my younger brother, but then we put it on a shelf. And I just finally got it back off the shelf and finished it. So that's what I'm about to show you. So with my build, I wanted to copy the style of the original LEGO Ninjago City. Starting with the water, then it goes up to older style Japanese buildings, and then it goes, as it goes up, it gets more and more modern while still maintaining the Japanese architecture. I have pins down here at the bottom so it can connect to the original LEGO Ninjago City on either side, which I will show you right now. Okay, starting down here at the bottom with the water, I kind of just imitated the design of the original set with a lot of vegetation and the way the water's placed. There really isn't much to it except there's a drain pipe that I'm going to have to show you later in more detail. Okay, so here and here we have grates for the drain system and if you look closely you can see that there's blue representing water underneath the grate. And that leads over here to the drain pipe with the little trickling waterfall. And if you look in there, I hope you can see the little drain. And here we have the pillar that helps support the second level. There's not much to it, it's just a bunch of bricks that I like the combination of. But at the top here, there is a hidden key if you pull the top off. Which I know nobody really in Ninjago City could get to it when the second level's on it. But I thought it would be a cool little feature to have. Okay, so the first building is this red and black building. It's supposed to represent like a fire pump room. For those of you who don't know what that is, the fire pump is what usually feeds the sprinkler heads in a building. But in my build, because I got lazy, it feeds a fire hydrant, which I'll show you later. If you can see that little red pipe down there, that's where the fire pump sucks up the water across into the fire pump and then out into the fire hydrant. Here's a closer up look at the actual fire pump itself. Our next building is the fish market. This is a reused build from the LEGO Ninjago City Chase set. I just modified it to make it fit in the modular setting. Now we move on to the second level. These are all apartment buildings, and they are pretty generic in design. They appear to be mainly made out of wood. This first apartment building is the one that sits on top of the fire pump room. In the front, it has a wagon wheel style window with shutters, and in the back it has two glass windows with shutters. In the back there you can also see an air conditioning unit, and on the inside there is actually a vent. Inside there is a sleeping bag style bed, a plant in the corner, and some figures on the windowsill. And to get into this apartment you would climb the ladder on the outside of the fire pump house. 
Our next apartment building is the one that sits on top of the fish market. This one has a fairly simple design much like the rest, but on the back of this one there are supports to help hold up the next level. Inside this apartment building, we have a blue futon on the floor for people to sleep in. And we also have a TV and a radio. And that's basically it for this apartment. But it also has a ladder that folds up and down to get in and out of the building. This apartment building also sits on top of the fish market. It's a little bit more detailed than the rest. With a roof and some solar panels, this one also has an AC unit. Inside this one also has a blue futon, and as you can see, this building has a window planter. Also in one of the corners it has a yellow dresser. And if you can see it back there, there's the air duct for the AC unit. And there's also a chest near the door here. This apartment also has a ladder that folds up and down so that you can get in and out. Okay, that's it for part one. Thank you for sticking with me and allowing me to show you my build. Part two may take a while to get out, but I look forward to showing you the rest later. I'll get right to work on it. Hope you enjoyed this video and I'll catch you in the next one.